In this video, we are going to show you how to configure your supplier settings for any supplier that you want to use. This will allow the GeekBeast Virtual Assistant's ability to access your store accounts online and process your orders without seeing your private details. Once you are logged into the GeekBeast dashboard, click on GeekBeast email. Copy the GeekBeast email that you've created previously. If you've not already created one, you will need to create one now on this screen. You will need to change the email address for your account on your supplier site to the GeekBeast email. We will demonstrate how to set this up with Amazon as a supplier for use within the GeekBeast dashboard, but remember that the process will be virtually the same regardless of the supplier that you use. You will start off by visiting your supplier site, log in to your existing account with the supplier site, go to your account settings. For Amazon in particular, you will need to also click on Login and Security. And where you see the email address, click Edit, paste in the new GeekBeast email address that you've previously created and copied, re-enter it on the next line, enter a password, then type the characters that you see in the CAPTCHA box and press Save Changes. From now on, this will be your new site login for the supplier, in this case, Amazon. Keep in mind, every supplier site is different, so the process you go through to change your username on each site will be different as well. Should you have any problems doing that, you will need to reach out to your supplier source and have them walk you through changing your email address at the supplier. Now that you've created your new store login, go back to your GeekBeast dashboard. Click on Settings. Click on Supplier Settings. Search for the supplier site that you are using and press Enter. Locate the store name in the list and click the pencil icon to edit the entry. Now we will enter the login information for the store. Start by entering the login or username. For this example, since Amazon's usernames are the email addresses on the account, this should now be the GeekBeast email that you entered on the Amazon site. For other stores, this may be a regular username. Next, type in the password for that store's online account. You can enter any additional notes about this entry in the notes field, but that is optional. Next, click save. If you search for the store again, you will see that your entry has been recorded. This will be the information that the GeekBeast will use to log into your supplier sites to process orders. Also, if you have any emails coming in from the supplier, now that you have changed the email address on record to the GeekBeast email, all emails will be delivered to your GeekBeast dashboard, and if you've enabled notifications, you'll receive copies of the emails to your normal email account as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.